Merry meet you, Shibians. Long time no talk. I know. I apologize. Things have been busy. We had uh, some people leave at work, so we've all been having to work a bit of overtime, but I mean, the extra cash isn't bad. Um, so, I got uh, some feedback from a viewer. You know who you are. Um, and it's not the first time, actually. Uh, I figured it's about time I should probably do a video. And so that would be Wiccan sexuality and what its implications are in the Wiccan belief system and in many pagan systems too. Um, now this particular question stems from my own sexuality. I am a homosexual Wiccan. Surprise! <laughs> um, so some people wanted to know what the uh, what the deal with that is in Wicca, like, you know, is it accepted, is it something that opinions are held about, um, and yeah, I'll basically be going into detail about that today. So, firstly, let me say in Wicca, we only really have one rule, per se, and it's not a rule, it's a guideline. It's called the read. Some people, I've heard it pronounced read, a, I say read. Um, it means basically advice or like guideline, so I mean it's not a rule, it's not like a thou shalt or thou shalt not, it's like a you should probably, you know, um, and that is do as you will as long as it harms none. Now Wicca tends to have more of a life celebr or a celebratory feel towards life and its, its natural processes and um, as such sex is a very natural part of life, it's something that everyone well, not everyone, but 99% of the world, I'd say, probably, has some kind of drawing towards sex in some form or another. Um, and that is something to be celebrated in the eyes of, of witches, as long as it's, you know, consenting uh, by, on both sides of the encounter. <laughs> um, obviously, having a love between the two is recommended, but it's not, it's not entirely necessary. Um, m most people would prefer that, and you know, usually you want to do what you prefer. So if you don't prefer, you know, random encounters with people you may or may not see again, don't. Don't do that. And if you do do that, you'd be going against yourself. Um, but basically sexuality in Wicca, it's all good. It's all good, as long as there is no harm towards anyone. Um, and that, I feel, in my opinion, has a lot more to just, or has a lot more to do with than just physical. It's also emotional um, and psychological due to just the nature of, of sex. It's a very emotional experience. Um, so you got to keep that in mind when you're talking about harm in that sense. I'd say that's one of the few senses where I wouldn't take harm just as I normally would in everyday um, situations. <coughs> um, but the, the reason that sex in Wicca is particularly sacred um, is because of what it it's for and what it speaks to in our our spiritual parts, in, in our spiritual um, composition. We are made from sex, we are made out of sex. Sex pushes the world forward just as death pushes the world forward. Sex is kind of like the opposite of death, well no, birth is the opposite of death, but sex is kind of the, I don't know, it's like Vishnu, you know, if you had Brahma the creator and Shiva the destroyer, Vishnu would be sex, you know, Vishnu would be what keeps it going. <laughs> um, Wicca tends to observe that, that, that notion of, of the necessity of sex and therefore the sanctity of it. And when we say sacred, we don't mean as in it should be feared or, you know, backed away from, treated, you know, in a particularly taboo almost sense, it's not the word I want to use, I can't think of it right now. Um, Wiccans don't tend to feel that way, we're, we're more so like, if you want to go for it, we would encourage it because it's nice, <laughs> and if you don't, well then don't, because then it won't be nice. 
And that's about it. Um, in Wicca, we have this thing called the Great Rite, <coughs> which is held usually on Beltane or Beltane or May Day, whatever you want to call it, May 1st, um, one of the eight Sabbaths. It's the opposite end of the year from Samhain. It's the uh, one of the high fire festivals, celebrating, well, traditionally celebrating the, the beginning of summer. Um, it's when the cows were brought into pasture, and um, you know you would see you would see summer basically being like, okay, yeah, we're here now. It's it's time to go. Let's get stuff going. Um, and it's traditionally a day of marriage as well, and of the consummation of marriage. Um, <coughs> now, not to say the Wiccans don't believe in, you know, sex before marriage, because we have no opinions <laughs> on that. Um, some people have opinions of their own, and they stick true to that, but Wicca, as an entity itself, I would say, there's really no, no restrictions or guidelines to sex, as long as it's within the free will of everyone and harm towards none, you know, there's not much to say about it. Um, now the Great Right is basically, traditionally, it is two people having sex in a ritual format um, to kind of symbolize the creation of the universe because the unity of the goddess and the god, the two polarities, and that doesn't necessarily mean male and female, it just means opposite, two parts of a greater unit. So that, that comes together to create something else, a third, which is love, relationship, unity, learning, stimulation, experience, um, all the things that you get from the two things coming together in a, in a fortuitous manner. It's the same kind of thing being symbolized in the Great Right. <coughs> Nowadays, it's not really done so much literally sexually, at least on Wicca, in, in aspects of like in branches of Thelema, or um, I think maybe the OTO, that is Thelema, duh, okay. Um, some ceremonial circles as well, I'd say. They do actually practice the uh, live sexual ritual, and many Wiccans do in private. Um, many Thelemites would do this up as a public ritual, like within their Thelemite circle. Um, my tradition is not one of those, so uh, we do it the way that many people have been doing it for many, 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 many years now, which is um, symbolically taking chalice and athame, one symbolizing one, one symbolizing the other, quite obviously which one that is, and But um, that's kind of like the climax of the ritual, and that symbolizes the the birth of well, at least the beginning of the rebirth of, of abundance, of the gift of existence, of uh, preparing to learn and experience and grow and express. And uh, in that sense, yeah, sex is really sacred to Wiccans in all of its forms. Um, if you were to ask, like, what would the ideal sexuality for Wiccans be, I would say, like, like pansexuality. Pansexuality. I mean, I'm not saying that sexuality is necessarily a choice. You can definitely choose to experiment within sexuality, and you may or may not enjoy it more than you think. Um, but pansexuality is like, you know, every everyone's an option, basically. It's just whichever one you feel more or less drawn to. But there's no distinctive, like... I like this person, but only because, or it's not like I like this person, but if they were of this gender or of this um, type, I wouldn't. It's like, you know, this person is still an option. The reason I'm going to go for them now is like a personality. Um, either that or bisexual, because you're just, you're allowing yourself the fullest expression of your, your sexual side, your sexual self. Um, pansexual just seems a little more inclusive to me, so I would kind of lean towards that if I were saying like an ideal Wiccan sexuality, but I'm not like saying that others aren't more or are, are less like Wiccan or pagan. I'm just saying like there's no prejudice towards sex in any of its forms. We encourage it all as long as you enjoy it, as long as the other person enjoys it, or people, <laughs> or it, it's as long as it's you know safe, not harmful. 
That's it. And it's because we think it's something to be celebrated. It's, it's part of this miracle of life. It's like, you're here. Like, holy crap, look around. And this is part of it. That's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> so, I mean, it's all good. It's all good. You know, it's not something to be ashamed of. You know, enjoy yourself, enjoy your body, enjoy the body of another or others. Or, you know, as, as long as you're enjoying yourself, it's, it's a good thing. And you're not hurting yourself. It's a good thing. So, um, yeah, basically I uh, wanted to get that out there in, uh, in response to some stuff. So uh, thanks for watching, and until next time, blessed be a merry part.